This is a story of a really high mountain called Huana Potosi and four brave men who challenged themselves to be one of the first people to climb Huana that week. Many people have tried to summit this 6,088 meter giant and not made it. There are so many obstacles that stand in their way and with very simple living conditions, were they going to make it? They could only hope and wonder. With little to no experience in mountain climbing between them and fitness levels at a serious low, the 45 minute training session in cliffhanger style ice climbing almost broke their spirits. That's awesome fun. Using hardcore equipment like ice axes and crampons, they worked on their skills and made it, just made it through day one. Morning of day two, we've left base camp, we're on our way to high camp, it's behind me. About two and a half hours up that way. Behind me you can see the mountain as well, where we're going to be hopefully summiting tomorrow morning. It's a beautiful day though, it's really nice, nice hiking. After a two and a half hour gruelling climb up I reckon 45 degrees of rock face we've made it to high camp it's at 5130 meters high and I have the man responsible for bringing at least three of us into this uh, anarchy his name's Dave Andrews Dave thanks for coming pleasure thanks for having me why did you uh, bring us all into this well I guess it started I just wanted to do it myself so basically we ran into you at 2 p.m. Uh, we had our fitting at 6 p.m. For, yes. for this climb. And within those four hours, tell me what you had to do to be here right now. Well, I had to psych myself up. I had to convince my wife that I wanted to do it. I didn't really want to do it. I was trying to look for every excuse under the sun. Couldn't find one. Uh, and all I had to do was change a flight and buy a couple of pairs of alpaca socks. <laughs> and mate, and how are those socks treating you now? Not bad. Well, how are you bad. finding the tr conditions, Dan? Oh, it's pretty tough. Yeah, pretty but tough. the headache's been a massive issue for me. Dave, you? Yeah, mate, me too, as I was saying before. from Basically, you know, carrying the pack was hard enough, but carrying the two little friends, headache and migraine, they, they didn't need to come with me. No. But they, they, turns out they can actually climb as well, because the moment we got in here and just started to chill out and relax, whack, in they came, and pretty much hit both of us at the exact same time, just when we sat down for lunch. Absolutely. It's the thing is that the altitude's probably the only thing that's going to stop us from getting above this, getting on top of this mountain. What are we going to do? We're just going to keep on climbing. We're going to push the summit. <laughs> push the summit. No, it's a 1am yeah. push for the summit. Sorry, it's a 1am start for a... What's that? It's 10 hours for before the push for the summit. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a wrap. Thanks for watching. It's about quarter to one on our third morning. So Friday morning, we have woke up at midnight and we're about to embark on a journey up to the summit, the push for the summit have to do it in this time of the morning because when the sun comes out the snow is too harsh and or can get too slippery and dangerous. So I've never woken up at midnight to go for a climb but it's actually really nice. The moon's out and the stars are out so it's quite a clear night which is all that we really want at the moment. I used to think that, uh, that I'd done some pretty difficult things but this is definitely taking the cake at the moment. The men pushed on in tough and trying conditions. After six hours of climbing, their hard work and determination paid off, and they reached the summit as the sun rose for the first time that day. They were even skilled enough to help a local Bolivian man reach the top and fulfill his lifelong dream.